Before we go in and start making our templates uh, fully dynamic so that they could display the pages channel content, let's go ahead and look over what is called the channel entries tag in Expression Engine. For those developers out there, this format is namespacing and then the object and the method that's being called on it, um, as well as parameters that are passed into it. If that does not make sense to the computer scientist, um, the syntax for this should still be very easy. The two main components are the opening tag here that starts off at exp for expression engine channel meaning that we're looking at a channel of content and get all of those entries there are some other formats such as channel categories or, um, or other name like that but this one is get the entries for the channel set some options for it and then at the end close the entries for this channel in between we can go ahead and put whatever content we want to get specifically we're going to use our custom field types now there are a few options or parameters that we're going to use specifically for this, but we'll look at those in a moment. What we could do for now though, is we could go ahead and copy this basic template right out of um, Expression Engine's user guide and come into our home template. Now we should already have this main section of content stored within Expression Engine. We've double checked that we have. So we can get, go ahead and delete that and paste in the content from the Expression Engine user guide. <clears throat> and now we're going to update it for our own use. Now Expression Engine channels entries will stay the same, but the channel name that we had is pages. And if you remember this from before, um, the pages is the, the computer readable name that we came up with for our pages channel. So in Expression Engine, what we're saying is, Expression Engine, go get the channel, um, go get all the entries for the channel inside of pages. However, if we were to do this, it would um, get a lot more than the page that we want. Um, you could see this one set to display 15, which won't do. So let's go ahead and delete this and we're going to replace it with our own parameters. And the parameters that we're going to use, the first one is we want to feed it the URL title of, you can see that there's a lot of options here, um, the URL title for our page. So the URL title, um, in this example it's my wedding, in the case of our home page, we set the URL title to home. Remember it tried to update to home hyphen page, but in uh, we hard coded it and we changed it and it says the URL title is actually home. So if we go back, copy this, and paste it here, and we change URL title to home, that should give us the content on the page. Now this content right here is something that they're just using as a placeholder and we can delete. And what we're going to add is we want to say display the page content. And this is how we write the custom field that we created in Expression Engine that stores the main content for the page. So remember that text field where we did all the editing and we inserted the image in? Um, the way we get that in Expression Engine in the template is by wrapping whatever the name that we gave it inside of these curly braces. So let's go ahead and update this. And we'll go back to our home page and well it looks the same so how do we know if it has actually changed let's come back into content we'll go to edit and let's grab our home page and let's make an update we can go ahead and just something like that. We'll go ahead and submit it. If we come back to our page and refresh the home page, look at that. Look at that. Dynamic content and expression engine. So now that we have the home page done, we're going to follow the same format of adding pages content and then updating the templates to reflect displaying that dynamic content. 